Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, NLC Creations, Crafting with Nikki. Today I'm going to show you how to sublimate on a straight 20 ounce tumbler. And here we go. We have our 20 ounce tumbler. We're going to take it out of the box. This is a perfectly straight cup down the edges. No tapering, easy to put the design on. We have our design, a cute little neon cat. We have our tape, two different sizes, 10 millimeter and 20 millimeter, and our scissors. All important tools. All right, and then we have our handy dandy chopper. We're gonna use this to cut our design out. So we're gonna cut along each edge. Here we go, this is my favorite tool to use. See how we uh, left a little bit of white on one side? We're gonna use that later to overlap when we tape our cup. So this edge is going to be overlapped the other side. It's going to help us with our design. And this is a, um, a seamless design. So we're not going to see the seam at the end. So we're going to go ahead and wrap the paper around. We want to make sure that it's tight. That white edge is going to overlap the edge of the other side. So we're going to overlap that over the colored edge just like this. And we want to make sure that it's tight and flat. So we're going to take our first piece of skinny tape and put that right in the middle. Make sure the paper is tight on there. And now we got our paper secure. We're going to add some more tape. I go from uh, left to right, back and forth, and I add five pieces of tape, making sure that my edge is flat. There we go. Had a little issue there, but we got it together. Flat, flat edge. All right, there we go. We got all the tape. And now you can see that our design is perfectly lined up with the top and the bottom of the cup. We're going to use the scissors to hold this cup in place while we do the rest of the tape. All right, here's the tape. So we're going to use the skinny tape and tape this along the edge of that overlap. So we're going to use that to hold that down. And there we go. You're going to fold the excess tape over the top and the bottom. Next, you're going to take the thick tape and tape directly over top of that skinny tape. This helps the tape stay on during the heating process. If we just use that skinny tape, all your tumblers will come out messed up. And this is something that I've uh, figured out over the last couple of years doing these cups. So now we have that tape secure on there. And the next thing we're going to do is tape the top and the bottom. We're going to take that big tape and wrap it all the way around the top very tightly. I always start right at the seam with the tape. That way I know where the tape begins and ends and it makes it easier when I'm taking the tape off while it's hot. So make sure that tape's tight. Put all the excess inside the cup. Flip it over and do that same thing to the other side making sure that it's tight. You wanna make sure that your top and your bottoms are tight so that when it comes out, you don't have any white marks or discoloration or fading at your edges. All right, and there we go. That cup is perfectly taped and here's what it looks like. And this is exactly how I put them in the oven. I don't use any shrink wrap. So we're gonna take this on over to the oven and we're going to heat that oven up to 350 degrees um, preheated on turbo convection. And we're going to wait. My oven usually takes about six minutes. All right, that oven's all heated up. We're going to put our cup in. I'm going to open this up and I stand my cup straight up usually tape forward. I do not um, have to turn this cup in this oven. It cooks evenly all the way around. So we're gonna set the timer to five minutes and 30 seconds, which is my go-to time for these. Nothing more, nothing less, and they always come out perfect for me. Five minutes and 30 seconds, here we go. Alrighty, our tumbler is completed. Almost. I got one extra step that I usually do that I'm going to show you here in a second. We're going to use our tongy tongs to get this hot cup out of the oven. And now while that cup was uh, cooking in our oven, I was heating up my tumbler press. Now here's the secret with this. You see how the tape came off just a smidge on that tumbler? Well, we're going to put that tumbler in this tumbler press for 30 seconds. 
and it's going to make that seam come out perfectly. Now you got to make sure that the seam is faced inside of the tumbler press so that way it presses it down. So here we go. Here's the unveiling. You're going to take this tape off. And I recycle my paper, so I always make sure that the tape comes completely off the cups. Uh, this was actually a pretty good removal, considering all the little tape came off on the first try. Usually I have to peel that off. All right, so now let's look at this tumbler. And you're going to see that you cannot see the seam. That's what I'm pointing out there. If you look really, 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 really close to this, you might be able to see a little bit of the seam. But to the general viewing public, there is no seam there. This cup came out perfect. The edges at the top and the bottom aren't faded. There's no seam. Uh, it's seamless. You can't tell. Thank you for watching.